Have you ever pondered the intriguing intersection of God and sexuality within the black church? A place where faith and beliefs are deeply ingrained, yet a space where silence often drowns the conversation on this vital aspect of human existence. Drawing from candid dialogues with church members, we delve into this thought-provoking topic. Listen to the voices, the stories, the experiences that echo from the pews, the pulpits, and the hearts of those within the black church. There's Reverend Johnson, a stalwart of his community, who grapples with reconciling his faith and his identity. I am a man of God. I lead my flock with love and integrity. Yet, I am also a gay man. Does this diminish my faith, my commitment to God, or my place in the church? Then, we hear from Sister Patricia, a beacon of strength in her community, who wrestles with her daughter's sexuality. I've always taught my children to love who they are, to love God, and to love others. But when my daughter came out as a lesbian, my faith was tested. I struggled to reconcile the teachings of the church with my love for my child. And there's young Deacon Williams who shares his journey of self-discovery and acceptance. Growing up in the church, I was taught that my sexuality was a sin, a deviation from the path of righteousness. It took years of self-reflection, prayer, and acceptance to realize my sexuality does not define my faith, my relationship with God, or my place in the community. These stories are but a glimpse into the complex intersection of spirituality and sexuality within the black church, an intersection often shrouded in silence, a silence that breeds misunderstanding, judgment, and pain. It is time to break the silence. It is time for the black church to foster open dialogues about sexuality, to create safe spaces for conversations, to listen, to understand, and to accept. Remember, God's love is unconditional. It embraces us in our entirety, our strengths, our weaknesses, our faith, our doubts, our sexuality, it is time for the black church to reflect this love, to mirror this acceptance, to honor this truth. So let the conversations begin, let the voices be heard, let the love of God in all its inclusivity and acceptance permeate the walls of the black church because it is only through open dialogues, understanding and acceptance that we can truly embody the love of God the essence of the church, the spirit of the community,